Okay, so let's look at some problems where we're using not only the ideal gas law, but the ideal gas law with the compressibility factor uh, to solve for something. And we're just going to be talking about solving for a specific volume. All right, so let's determine the specific volume of refrigerant, 134A, at 1 MPa and 50 degrees C using the ideal gas equation, or B, using the generalized compressibility chart with the ideal gas equation, and compare the values uh, obtained to the actual value of 0.021796. And so we could get this from the property tables. The property tables, if you, we have property tables, are the most accurate. Uh, but if we don't, and maybe we can assume an ideal gas, then PV equals RT might be appropriate, or if we can use the compressibility factor to compress to uh, correct the ideal gas equation, PV equals ZRT. All right, so, uh, so that's accident value, and we want to determine the error. So let's just use the ideal gas equation. The pressure is 1 MPa. If you don't mind, I'm going to do 1,000 kPa, right? K MPa is 1,000 times larger than um, kPa, so 1,000 kPa times specific volume. That's what we're looking for. R, the R for refrigerant 134A is in table A1. The R would be, I've got 0 0.08149. And instead of using um, kilojoule, I'm using kPa meter cubed per kilogram K. Let's, we, we, we can go look at that real quick. The property tables, table A1, if we're in SI units, the R for refrigerant, all right, that one is right here. You see that tetrafluorethane R134A. That is the refrigerant that's in our property tables. That's when we say R134A, that's what we've got. So 0 0.08149, instead of using kilojoules per kilogram K, I'm using KPA meter cubed per kilogram K because they are the same units. There we go, and the temperature, 50. I can't just plug in 50, can I? No, 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 323, right? Add 273. You can do 273.15 if you want, add 273. All right, so the specific volume would be 0 0.026325 meters cubed per kilogram. Um, how does that compare? What is the error right here? So the error would be 0 0.026325 minus the actual 0 0.021796 over the actual. Always divide it by the actual if we kind of want to get the percent error, right? We don't want just the change, the difference. We want the percent difference. So divide it by the actual. 0.207, that's 20.7%. That's a, I don't know if you, what you think about that. I think that's a pretty big error. But I, I was assuming it's an ideal gas. Maybe it's not quite an ideal gas, or maybe I can use the compressibility factor to correct that a little bit better. I, I can say PV equals Z RT. But what is Z? What is Z? I can get Z by taking the PR and the TR. So let's kind of come down here and make a side note. The PR is P over P critical. The TR is T over T critical. So the pressure of 1,000 kPa over P critical, that's table A1. That's table A1. The critical point properties for R134A, the pressure is... 4.0959 MPa. Maybe I should have kept it in, in MPa. Uh, 4.059, and the temperature is 374.2 Kelvin. 374.2 Kelvin. So let's go here. So this is 4059 kPa. I could have just left those at, as MPa. 1 over 4.059. Uh, 0.246 is PR. The temperature is 323 over 374.2.863 is TR. All right. So I'm going to take those two values to, tape, to chart the compressibility chart, A15, and read off the Z value. Now let's be very, very careful and make sure you're looking at the right lines. Make sure you're looking at the right lines. Okay. 
So I've got a PR 0.246, TR of 0.843. Let's go to the uh, property tables. Let's go to, maybe kind of memorize what page this is on, page 26 in mine. Let me try to erase, you know, everything that I had been doing. Uh, if you've got this electronic copy, you can write, you know, electronically over it and erase it. Uh, but be careful. Get get a ruler, you know, get a ruler and make sure you're, you're looking at the right x-axis, the right line in x, right line in y. All right, so here we go. I've got a PR of 0.246. So down here, I've got 0.246. Now, I'm not going to look at this bottom one because 0.246 is very, uh, um, um, very small. But here, th this, this top one is zoomed in, so I can look at 0 0.246, 0 0.246. All right, so 0 0.2, 0 0.3, there are 10 lines between the two, so 0 0.24, 0 0.24 would be 1, 2, 3, right here, and 0.25 would be right here, so in between those two, and you have to estimate a little bit, but you can make some good estimations, in between these two is where I'm looking, so 1, one two, th one, two, three, four. In between these two lines is where I'm looking. So maybe even kind of draw all those all the way up in between those two lines. All right, and my TR was 0 0.863, 0.863. So I don't have point, a line for 0 0.863. I've got to estimate a little bit, make a good guess. Well, it's going to be between here, you know, 0 0.86, 0 0.87, 0 0.89, and then we get to 0.90, so maybe a little bit closer to the 0.83 than the 0.9 line, right? And so I'm gonna, oops, I'm gonna guess that that line would be, I don't know, maybe right here, and I'm looking in between these two, so I'm looking right about here, right about there, all right? I'd probably give you from 0.82 to 0.86, but I don't know, it, it really depends on, on every problem. If, if you have to be looking between the correct lines, you know, you have to be looking between the correct lines in, the, in a good area, I've got 0.84. I've got 0.84. All right, maybe you had 0.85, maybe you had 0.83. I've got 0.84 as my z value for this problem. So let's look at the, our notes. Uh, so from those, z is about 0.84. So now I can use PV equals ZRT. P, 100 uh, or 1,000 kPa. V is what I'm looking for, equals 0.84 times 0 0.081493323. Uh, yes, you can, um, let's see, take, the, if, you, if the, this is the exact same equation, the only difference is this, um, then you could take this value and multiply it times z, uh, but uh, you could just redo, the, it wouldn't, wouldn't take a second to divide that thousand over, and just get a new answer, 0 0.02213 meters cubed per kilogram. So that is the answer for part B. What's the error? What's the error? Well, I got 0 0.02213, 0 0.02213. Uh, the more accurate was 0 0.026. Let's see. Sorry, no. More accurate was the actual was 0 0.021796 divided 0 0.021796. That would give me 0 0.02. Let's see what that. I, I probably want some a little bit more accurate uh, answer. I've rounded it 
a little bit too much here, I think, but 0 0.02213 minus 0 0.021796 equals divided by 0 0.021796. Uh, and so I've got 0 0.0162. Or 1.62 percent. All right. I, I typed in the number wrong real quick. 02213.021796 divided by 0 0.021796. It's even even lower. 0.0153. 1.53. All right, so the error is more of 1.53%. So do you see that it is a lot more accurate compared to the 20% off that we were just using the ideal gas? This one, the compressibility factor, 0.84, um, allowed us to get closer, not quite, not exact. The best answer was from the property table, um, but this was a good guess. Uh, PV equals ZRT of 0 0.02213 um, with an error of only about 1.5%. All right.